Welcome to Old Game Plus, and we're here to talk about Masaya Nakamura, who was the founder of the company Namco, now known as Bandai Namco, and also the founder of Pac-Man, who recently passed away at the age of 91. And Pac-Man is one of the most iconic, and it was a good title I have, Father Pac-Man, but Pac-Man is one of the most iconic characters ever in gaming. And in fact, even now, there's Pac-Man Championship Edition, Pac-Man 256, he appears in Smash, I've got Pac-Man Amiibo, and Pac-Man's lasted a very long time. He has, and um, he's been around for ages, and he was also a, a pioneer in the gaming industry at the time it came out, because most games were about shooting things at the time, like you were a spaceship shooting aliens, or you were a person shooting other people. But uh, Pac-Man wasn't about that, it was about navigating a maze and the strategy behind the ghosts chasing you. Uh, running around a dark room eating pills. Yeah, <laughs> so, but um, <laughs> he was also um, appealed to a wider audience because of that, as, uh, because shooting things wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but Pac-Man was a very good casual game back then. Pac-Man was part of, there were two big groups of Namco games uh, during, through, through gaming history. There was the arcade uh, very early on when you had uh, Pac-Man, Galaga, Xevious, Rally X, Dig Dug and that. And then, then also they had another wave of very significant franchises towards the end of the arcades and when, when the PlayStation came out and, and video games started to move to 3D at home. Yeah, so those games were things like Tekken, the, the fighting game, um, Soul Calibur, which is another fighting but with weapons, um, Ridge Racer, the light gun shooters, Time Crisis and Point Blank, which we don't have anymore, which is a sad thing. Yeah, but, um, the some genre of the, that went missing. Yeah, it's, and some of those yeah. games are, were like groundbreaking at the time, um, being in 3D and also the light gun concept. And not many people are going to know this, but very early on, um, he bought the Japanese division of Atari so that they could bring Atari games to Japan. And that, that helped, helped get them into making, making those games, those, arca those great arcade games. Yeah, because um, Atari of Japan were handling it very wrong and couldn't seem to make any ground in there. So Namco took it over. Um, they were originally a carnival arcade, a carnival machine making company and turned into what we know now today is the uh, game company. It's, well, it's a, I'm pretty happy with it, about that change, yeah. change to be honest. Um, and he also won an Order of the Rising Sun. So yeah, the Order of the Rising Sun was awarded by the Japanese government to him for his um, contribution to the Japanese industry. And that's not the game industry, that's industry in general. So that's one of the highest orders Japan is, gives out. So he was awarded that in 2007, um, and for good reason. Oh yeah, thoroughly deserved, because I mean Namco has given billions of gamers all over the world so, some great gaming memories and and you look back at those games uh, Galaga and Pac-Man that early on and then Ridge Racer and Tekken and that later I mean these, these are great games so yeah well deserved that award and and yeah we, we miss but Namco has given us some great great games and also they're still around which is a good thing because their competitors at the time things like Konami have gotten out of the gaming industry whereas Namco is still around they're making the Tales of series regularly um, and new Tekken's on the horizon so they're still around and they're still going strong.